A young girl is recovering after being shot through her family's home in North Minneapolis late Saturday. It happened in the Harrison neighborhood just after 10. Police say the girl, who is a toddler, was taken to the hospital but is expected to survive. Adam Duxter shares why on a night with multiple shootings in the city, this one in particular has neighbors very upset. Julia Woyi says she's still processing what happened across the street from her home last night. It just feels surreal. After a gunman opened fire on her street, bullets flying through cars in her neighbor's home with the toddler inside. Frustrated. I'm frustrated that a child that didn't deserve that was caught in the middle of whatever is going on. Woyi has multiple children at home herself. I'm scared. <laughs> like really, really scared that it could happen to me or our house next. Police say that young girl is expected to survive, but neighbors Saturday night told us they're tired of what they're seeing. Yet another child caught in gunfire. We are uh, laying in the bed at night and we hearing 16 to 20 shots. You know, you guys firing at people's houses and kids is in the house, you know, that's unacceptable. Y'all need to start putting the guns down and finding better ways to solve problems. That shooting happened just a few blocks away from here. Minneapolis Police 4th Precinct and neighbors say MPD was on the scene in just a few minutes. As of this morning, police are not able to tell us if they've got anyone in custody. Jillian's only lived here for a year or so, but says now she's thinking about what's next. Thinking of just tentatively in the way back of my mind, considering whether we should be staying. I know that I want to be a part of a change, and that would be my reason to not leave, but I really can't compromise the safety of my family. Adam Duxter, WCCO 4 News. About a half hour before the toddler was shot, Minneapolis police responded to a different shooting. This one happened in the 3300 block of Colfax Avenue North. Officers were responding to a shots fired call. When they arrived, they found a teenage boy and girl with non-life-threatening gunshot wounds. They were both taken to a local hospital. Officers are currently investigating to figure out what happened. Before those two separate shootings, a man was shot in the 3800 block of Penn Avenue North just after 7.30 last night. Police responded to the scene after hearing about multiple shots fired. They found the injured man near his vehicle. Police said he had an apparent non-life-threatening gunshot wound and EMS transported him to the hospital. We haven't heard about any arrests in any of the cases and we don't know if any of them are connected. In all, a total of four people were shot last night in three separate shootings. Police say all of them are expected to survive.